Hey folks, Jim here from the Soul of the Unexplained, bringing you Season 5 of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch episode recaps in just five minutes or less, if I can uh, keep from talking too much. Anyhow, let's start off, folks. Episode number one aired last night on the History Channel, and the episode is called What's Up? And the episode begins as so many of the previous season uh, episodes began which is Travis Taylor driving across the Uinta Basin in Utah on his way to Skinwalker Ranch to meet up with the team. Once he's there, after Brandon and Cameron fly in in the helicopter, they have a discussion with the entire team, and one of the things they decide they need to do is intensify and increase the uh, the level of the experiments and investigations that they're doing, and they narrow it, narrow it down to basically two main things that they want to focus on. One of them is the Mesa, and the other one, of course, is the Triangle and the anomalies that uh, they experienced there. So Thomas Winterton talks about the need of getting uh, getting better access to the Mesa, and to do so, perhaps that they need a new drill to access what might be inside the Mesa. Eric then lets us know that there has been some instability in the Mesa recently since the last season was uh, was was filmed, so that's going to present some new challenges to the team to actually access what might be inside the Mesa. Then they briefly talk about how a cow passed away in 2022 and or between 2022 and 2023, and then they start focusing on the triangle. And what they do is they bring in a gentleman by the name of Brock Wilson from Wasatch Helicopters, and they begin an experiment in the triangle with two aircraft flying in the air simultaneously, the first time they've ever had two aircraft flying over the ranch at the same time. Travis Taylor is in the uh, helicopter with Brock Wilson, broadcasting a 1.6 gigahertz signal to Eric and Cameron in the other helicopter. And they're basically doing a push broom pattern as they mirror each other, uh, going up through that triangle anomalous zone. And whether it's 200 feet, 500 feet, or even higher than that, sure enough, every time that Travis broadcasts to the north, where uh, towards where Eric and Cameron are, the signal just flat out disappears. It just completely, it's not there. Anywhere else, it's nice and strong, but regardless of the altitude, every time he's facing north to broadcast towards Eric, the signal just disappears. And all kinds of GPS anomalies, GPS signal flat out stops working at a, in a brief period of time in, uh, in Cameron's helicopter. So what Travis decides to do is to land on the ground and see if he can replicate the results from the ground. And so from an altitude of just 300 feet above him, once again, Travis standing on the ground, broadcasting towards Eric and Cameron, just 300 feet directly above him, no signal at all facing to the north. But when they change the angle, signal comes right back nice and strong. So the really trippy stuff happens the following day when Eric Bard begins reviewing the uh, the video data, and they find three distinct UAPs that appear on video. The first of which appears to be a shape-shifting UAP of some kind, really trippy. Maybe a bird, maybe a bug, we honestly don't know, they just don't have the, enough data, but if it is a shape-shifting UAP, wow, it's it's really, really something to see, folks. The second one is a little less exciting. It's toward the, it's closer to the ground, but it's, uh, they determine it's about five feet across, rectangle in shape, moves pretty quickly. May even be two craft joined together, Travis says. But the really trippy one happens on the third one, which appears to be something that is on the ground, and not just on the ground, it's a bright object that appears to be walking. That's right, folks. It appears to be walking. Wow. And of course, we know all kinds of uh, tales of, you know, things bef that happened on the ground before Brandon Fugel took possession of the ranch. So that's where things are, folks. Season five seems to be one heck of a ride that we're in for. Cannot wait to bring you more. If you want to see a more detailed and in-depth analysis of this episode and every episode throughout season five, Roger and I encourage all of you to go check out the Jayfree 906 podcast with our dear friend Jeff Freeman right here on YouTube on his YouTube channel, Jayfree 906. Every Thursday, he does a fantastic live stream with guests and all kinds of cool stuff, one of the best conversations on YouTube regarding Skinwalker Ranch. And like Roger and me, Jeff is a Skinwalker Ranch insider and is usually joined by Shannon DeSalvo and some other great insiders as well. So check out Jeff's channel if you want to hear more 
details on this most recent episode. That's it, folks. I think I almost did it. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I will see you next week with a recap for uh, episode two of season five. And in the meantime, just uh, be awesome. Take care of yourselves. Uh, eat lots of tacos, of course, with cilantro, right? And uh, be kind to others, even the people that don't seem to, to, to deserve it, because our world could always use a little more kindness. I'll see you next week, folks. Thanks. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below, and we will see you next week. See ya.